The industry has been abuzz with heated discussions surrounding the upcoming launch of new commercial aircraft from Airbus and Boeing. These two plane makers recognise that the framework to replace existing single-aisle jets must commence, such as the A320neo and the 737 MAX, both existing, respectively. With the 2030s only approaching sooner, the pair is reported to have begun early work on the understanding of available technologies for implementing to help prepare the jets for launch within, say, the next five years. However, when speaking with the International Society of Transport Aircraft Trading, Boeing's chief of marketing for aircraft said that the launch of a new successor to the 737 MAX is still some way off. Meanwhile, a senior executive at Airbus also said that the launch of a new prospective aircraft would be some time away, given the need to meet efficiency targets on the new model. The two plane makers know that their next iterations will more likely than not be clean sheets, with especially for the 737's dated fuselage seeing its capabilities reached. Therefore, there is a need to incorporate substantial refinements of around 25-30% to 30% efficiency in order to attract customers to actually invest. Therefore, work must be done to find the ideal plan to achieve this. Much of the industry talk surrounding a new plane follows reporting at the end of September, which indicated Boeing had begun that all-important development on the 737 MAX replacement aircraft. The jet in the early stages of development was seeing a focus placed on designing key elements of the flight deck as it continued working towards a formal launch. The Wall Street Journal led the reporting on the upcoming aircraft, which will not only act as the replacement to the 737 MAX, but also as a crucial next pillar of Boeing's commercial aircraft vision, and importantly, rival what Airbus is studying as its successor to the A320neo. For Boeing, talk of the new aircraft follows confirmation in 2024, which surrounded the construction of this new aircraft in the company's traditional home of Washington, an agreement reached to help alleviate pressures on striking workers. That agreement involves over 30,000 employees in the Washington state, home to the likes of Renton and Everett, and we'll see all derivatives from the new program built here if, critically, a launch for the aircraft can be approved in the next four years by the governing board of directors. Boeing, similarly to Airbus, must also have the right technologies available for implementation on a platform. This is achieved through persistent studying and analysis of the results from this for a possible then adoption on a larger scale. While much of the focus has been on Boeing's next aircraft, what about Airbus? Well, arguably, there's actually been greater talk around the European plane makers movement. The discussion centers around the NGSA, as it's known short for Next Generation Single Isle, expected to replace that A320neo in the 2030s, with now wing processes ongoing to determine the best direction. Airbus up next will play a role in future studies for the plane maker, enabling the development of the next aircraft and technologies to understand what is feasible moving forward. Traction surrounding the new jet gained momentum in June of this year when the CEO reaffirmed his stance that the new single aisle plane would remain a key focus for the remainder of the decade. As part of the timelines unveiled for the new plane, Airbus hoped that one of the first stages to launch would be a decision regarding the engine solution, expected to arrive in 2027. After the relevant engine solution was determined, Airbus would then proceed with launching the aircraft in the 2030s, making the new single aisle available to customers for purchase. Lastly, a a seven to eight year window would then follow, during which the manufacturer would aim to produce, certify, and deliver the aircraft to airline customers, with a hopeful date put forward of 2037 or 2038. Important to note, these timelines are by no means a lock. As I've stated numerous times in this video, Airbus and Boeing both need to achieve the efficiency targets they have in mind to actually get airlines to invest, let alone for a program launch to be worthwhile. One thing that we can can absolutely confirm is that new aircraft are required, and the 2030s are viewed as the perfect time frame for the replacements to gradually enter service. Keen to hear your take down below in the comments. Thanks for watching, take care, be safe, and I'll see you tomorrow. And we'll fly.